Hey you guys, in this video, um, we will talk about the McGee Crossroad Middle School Student Handbook. Uh, this is your first page here, Home the Mustangs, we believe, Mustangs, Mustang Proud, Mustang Stronger. Here you'll have your address to your school and the phone number. You have your superintendent, who is Dr. Eric Bracey. You have your principal, Ms. Shepard, assistant principal, Mr. Dugan, assistant principal, Ms. Holder. With this handbook, I'm not going to read every single thing, uh, so please take a moment to um, later on to read the rest of it, or if something catches your eye, if you want to read it later. Um, Please feel free to stop your teacher at any moment to ask questions um, or write your questions down if you have any for a discussion later. Um, here is your principal's message here. Welcome to McGee's Crossroad Middle School. We are pleased to have you as part of our school family at McGee's Crossroad. We want every student to succeed and we are committed to working with you and your parents, guardians, to ensure that you can learn, achieve, and grow in a safe, orderly, equitable, respectful, caring, and loving environment. And that's just a message from Ms. Shepherd here. Here is the communication, communication process. Um, our primary concern is the well-being and education of our students. We are committed to open, honest communication with students and parents in effort to resolve matters quickly and effectively. We ask that parents and or guardians first contact the teacher or their child's uh, student services counselor. Um, so students, if you ever have any questions, reach out to your teachers. And if we don't have the answers, we'll find it for you, okay? Um, going on to semester timeline, um, so the first quarter ends October 15th, um, and this is your semester that starts and it ends here. Uh, so October 15th is around the corner, you guys, so if you guys get assignments or any quizzes, make sure you guys um, study very hard and do very well. Your grading system, we would have already talked about your grading system already. Um, along with that, you get a conduct um, and this conduct is an S, N, and U, satisfactory, needs improvement, unsatisfactory, and that is based on your behavior in class, your homework, um, your classwork, your quizzes, all that together. So always remember to check PowerSchool, you guys, because that's more up to date, um, and your teachers um, are going to update it every week um, of your grades and what you are submitting. Um, let's see, attendance, we talked about that in the Gazette. I'm not going to go over all of it. Um, same thing with attendance records, excessive absence, and appeal. Um, tardiness, we did not touch base on that. It is important that efforts are made to attend school regularly and to arrive to school on time daily. Students that arrive to school after 8.05 a.m. are required to sign in by their parent at the attendance office. Teachers will record class tardies. Two class tardies will constitute one absence. Um, don't forget that we are recording and putting into PowerSchool um, your attendance for each and every class that you go into. Um, so just make sure you are present and that you are aware of that policy. Consequences for tardiness is here and there's a discipline here. Um, we talked a lot about the Student Code of Conduct and the uh, Johnson County Public School Gazette. I'm not going to go through all of it. The use of profanity, obscene language or gestures, possession of obscene literature, disrespect to the faculty and or other staff members, skipping school or any type of conduct that will disrupt learning during the school day and that is unbecoming to ladies and gentlemen is prohibited and will not be tolerated, okay? Um, so please make sure that you guys um, read the rest of this and um, if you need a review, it is going to be here for you under board policy 4304. Um, choices um, is a referral choice room um, and a student can refer to choice room by a student, I mean, I'm sorry, by a teacher um, when there is disruptive behavior. 
and choices is our in school suspension and um, is an alternative to out of school suspension. So students will be assigned to in school suspension for sufficient reasons, including but not limited to behavior which adversely affect the safety and well being of other students behavior which disrupts learning and or class or school sponsored activity and behavior harmful to good order discipline and safety occurring in class and or school sponsored activities cheating first time a student is discovered cheating his or her work will be given a zero if the violation pertains to uh, school work a conference with a teacher and or administration will follow second offense should occur, the infraction may result in out of school suspension. Here's some school regulations here. Um, one, follow McGee's Crossroad Middle School Expectation and Values Matrix. Uh, remember, practice the six pillars of character. Read and abide by Johnson County um, Public Schools Student Code of Conduct Board Policy 4304. Be in your class and in your seats when the tardy bell rings. Come to class prepared with all needed supplies. Follow grade level hallway and individual classroom teacher procedures and process. Students are expected to properly conduct themselves in the hallways as they move to and from classes. Walk quickly, quietly, and on the right side of the hallway to and from classes. Students are not permitted in the hallways or gyms during lunchtime without written permission from a teacher or school personnel. Students are not permitted to be excused from any class without permission and an appropriate pass from a teacher. So if you ever need to step out to go to another class to get something that you forgot, make sure that your teacher gives you a hall pass. Students are not permitted in the teacher's lounge at any time during the school day unless prohibited by teacher or permitted by a teacher or other school personnel. The selling of outside items by Students is not permitted without permission from administration. Cell phones, we talked about that. Headphones, earbuds, cameras, training cards, expensive jewelry, large amounts of money, laser pens, iPods, MP3 players, CDs, CD players, and other electronic devices are strongly recommended to remain at home. Headphones, earphones, earbuds, or any other items pertaining to such devices are not prohibited to be worn during school day unless they are used to support teaching and learning. You can't sit here and walk around the hallway with your earbuds on. Respond to all school peers, uh, faculty, staff members, other adults, and visitors with respect. This also includes your substitute teachers, teacher assistants, custodians, cafeteria, um, staff. Please do not bring gum or candy to school to sell or share. Hazing of students by others. Uh, excessive public display of affection will not be permitted on campus. Gang-related activity, we touch base on that too in the Gazette. Theft will not be tolerated and will result in disciplinary action. It is strongly recommended to leave all personal property at home. We are not responsible. McGee's Crossroad is not responsible for personal property lost, stolen, stored on campus or on the school bus or not allowed on campus. All students are responsible for their personal property. Um, students know, who knowing, knowingly and willfully damage or destroy school property will be expected to pay for the property. Students are not permitted to loiter on school property when school is not in session. That means that um, you and your family or your friends can't come on campus um, outside of campus or the parking lot and have Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas. Report all issues that are prohibited by the school or Johnson County Public School Board policy to an adult or an administration. Be a leader and make a difference. All right, let's see what else it talks about. Uh, what's related, suspension and expulsion. We talked about that already um, in the Gazette. Uh, student dress code violation, we also talked about that too. Um, but just to touch base on it, students that violate dress code policy will be asked to remove or correct an inappropriate item and the parent guardian will be notified. Students will be assigned to choices if they are unable to correct or refuse to correct the violation. Cell phone electronic devices. Um, just make sure that if you have it on you, make sure it's turned off. 
um, and in your book bag. Cell phones and fractions. If you um, have it out and we've told you multiple, multiple times to put it away or if you're in the bathroom with your phone um, and you're going against this policy, then here are some infractions here you might want to read. First offense, we'll take it from you. You'll have to pick it up uh, at the front of the desk. Second offense, we'll take it away again. Um, your parents will be contacted and your parents would have to come pick it up. Um, third offense, um, same thing. Choices will be given on second and third offense um, and also fourth. Uh, take pride in our campus. Please don't trash um, the campus. Um, you need to think of this as your home, too, because we are here more than we are at home. Um, so please make sure you pick up after yourself. Um, for some reason, if you have gum with you, please don't put it under the table or chair because you don't do that at home. Um, please don't draw on the on the walls or put toilet papers on in the in the um bathroom floor because you don't do that at home so please don't do that here talks about carpool pickup and drop off please be safe um, make sure that your parents don't drop you off in the parking lot that they need to um, pull up to the school and drop you off there if you're riding the bus this is good for you to review bus conduct uh, make sure that you are uh, behaving appropriately and speaking respectfully uh, don't be rude. Don't use pro profane language and behavior are not pro prohibited. <clears throat> I'm sorry, are not permitted and will not be tolerated. Respect the bus driver, yourself, and other student peers and school property. Remain in your seat at all times. Standing, walking in aisles or horse playing is not permitted. Eating or drinking on the bus is not permitted. Uh, weapons are not permitted on the bus. Fighting is not permitted. Uh, vaping, smoking, or other tobacco products are not prohibited. Keep all body parts and belongings inside the bus at all times. And here are the infractions. All right, and it talks about hall passes, telephone use, um, cafeteria. We're not going to use the cafeteria this year, but um, please act accordingly. Um, when you go in there, please stand in a single file line. Don't cut in front of people. Go directly through the serving line before placing items. Um, I'm sorry, just go directly to the serving line because we're not going to be sitting in there. Um, and please don't leave stuff on the floor. <laughs> Athletics, it talks about, um, academic, uh, eligibility, um, and sportsmanship. Um, student health and medication, um, especially medication, please make sure that um, if you have any type of um, health condition, your parents need to have it in writing. Um, and if there's any type of medication that needs to be administered, um, it has to, we have to have a written uh, permission signed by uh, your, um, your physician, okay? Textbook and other school properties, such as your Chromebooks or library books, um, uh, belongs to the school. So therefore, you need to take care of it. Um, and anything lost or damaged or stolen will be uh, your responsibility. You would have to pay for it. Uh, personal property, you guys, if it's valuable to you, please don't bring it. Keep it at home, please. Uh, fire drills, emergency evacuation, lockdowns, these will be um, <clears throat> talked to you by your teachers. Uh, band instruments, you can ask your band and structure about this policy here. And inclement weather, if there's anything that goes on, like a tornado or hurricane, um, or just something that came up, um, please make sure that you take a look at the website. And that is it. If you have any questions, please let us know.